the city is the place. It's the place where the people live, and of course, people absorb information through eyes uh, very much, and uh, the touching and, and, and tasting. And of course, design could make uh, the things, including the things in the city, simply better. And of course, the better understanding, better aesthetic value, and everything, of course, makes your life. Uh, uh, not only nicer, but also more more convenient, and of course that's how design comes into the city. It's either good design or bad design. I would prefer good design. But all public services has, have to be user-centered. Uh, either it's uh, education or public transport or public spaces or whatever. Uh, I think it's simply all, 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 all areas of, of public activities have to be user-centered. So there's no, no other way of, of uh, providing good result. Like the thing which will stick in, in my brain, which I probably will not forget, is um, the story about people graduating, so young designers finishing um, their education and leaving with big aspirations of changing the world and applying service, uh, design to services and applying design to things which really matter. And then they start to look for a job and the jobs they can find is um, in advertising, in packaging design, and so the ones with the biggest aspirations, they leave and they immigrate to different countries. And this is really, um, it's a really sad story. And I wonder what design for Europe can do to support people here finding the jobs they want. But why don't people start their business after graduating from school? So why, what about setting up like small co companies to, um, to start like small, small bits of service design? Um, instead of leaving the country. First of all, in Lithuania we need to improve awareness of public sector and private sector about design and design value. Policy makers in Lithuania also should be informed usually about uh, the value of design. Now we are thinking about to, to make a big survey, a big uh, quanti quantitative analysis about design sector in Lithuania because we have no numbers, we didn't know even how much companies using design, how much companies or students we have directly involved in design, so, uh, or maybe active designers. It has been very inspiring to hear almost 30 people discuss uh, what we should do of upcoming activities. I think that what was really interesting to me was actually to understand how many things is already happening. With, uh, both within businesses, within the design sector and the public sector, on government level. I know there's also always, you know, a wish that things could be better and bigger, but I think that, that in my mind uh, there is a lot of things that we can build on. I think the first thing we can do, and I think this probably goes for all over Europe, for many countries, is actually how can we support in connecting the dots? Because I think that the, Nobody can do any changes on their own, so you need to have new partnerships. And I think that perhaps I hope that today it was the people who was in the room, that they met some new people and they knew that if they start talking together, they can actually start making some of the changes. I see good examples, case studies. We will uh, develop efficiency and, and more exactly. Events as well was rich and rich for new point of view to, to uh, design development, to, to product design, to design uh, generally. I think uh, I heard uh, many things which imported for, for all society. Design for Europe could be a kind of, um, I don't know, uh, maybe um, platform for Lithuania. It's, it's funny to speak in between them because in Lithuania we have several uh, institutions working uh, para in parallel way, but they don't cooperate uh, enough. And Design Forum did a big job by uh, making this event and um, opening a door for, for communication in, in between Lithuanian uh, sectors who are, uh, what are related to design. It seems that we made a huge, huge thing. Um, we gathered many people together who probably will never get in touch with each other. People were not afraid to talk, they were not afraid to complain, they were not afraid to analyze and work hard. It's a great initiative and uh, we are looking for 
how to collect this data. We are waiting for the feedback. And I think that uh, this is one of the most important things, just collect all the information and try to summarize it and then uh, to prepare it and publish for, for the Lithuanian audience, for Baltic uh, people and even for all the Europeans.